As U.S. military buildup in the Middle East continues, some local lawmakers are expressing concerns. Democrats Bobby Scott and Tim Kaine are worried that the United States could be heading down a path towards war with Iran. Mike Gooding has the latest. The buildup has been swift. In a little over a week, the U.S. has sent the Abraham Lincoln Carrier Strike Group with Oceana-based Air Wing 7 aboard, the USS Arlington, Patriot Missile Batteries, and B-52 Bombers to the U.S. Central Command Area of Operations with the Kearsarge Amphibious Ready Group with members of the 22nd Marine Expeditionary Unit on standby nearby if needed. Now some lawmakers are voicing concerns over the potential for a wider conflict, intentional or or accidental to break out between the U.S. and Iran, saying a miscalculation or misunderstanding could spark a much more serious situation. If we do the diplomacy right, then the military action would not be necessary. Virginia 3rd District Representative Bobby Scott says the U.S. made a serious mistake in withdrawing a year ago from the 2015 nuclear accord with Iran. And we see that Iran now has no or little incentive to comply with the provisions of the treaty and we had now have a crisis. And I think it would be absolutely a horrible idea for the U.S. to be in another war in the Middle East right now. And Virginia Senator Tim Kaine continues to insist that President Trump cannot act alone and he must involve Congress. If we're going to use American troops in wars anywhere, we shouldn't do it on the, we shouldn't end run the Constitution. We shouldn't just do it easily or quickly. We should consult with Congress and let Congress debate it. Mike Gooding, 13 News Now.